Welcome to All About the Bass with me. Um, how about that opening track? Uh, that was uh, Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick by Ian Jury and the Blockheads, uh, played famously by Norman Watt Roy. Uh, iconic bass player, iconic bass line, and that ties in very nicely with what we're looking at today, which is the Ashdown Ant, because Norman Watt Roy is um, a long time user of Ashdown Ant. Um, I don't know if he has a look at one of these yet, but uh, this little beauty is uh, is straight out of the uh, straight out of the box. A new thing from Ashdown, and uh, the idea is that it's um, a preamp, but also with uh, a 200 watt amplifier built in. But as you can see, it's very small, uh, so it will fit onto your pedal board. And because uh, a lot of the time these days with uh, with venues they're starting to provide backline, which is all very well, but if you turn up, you don't know exactly what you're gonna get amp-wise. Very often they don't work, or they're just not very good. Um, and as long as they've got a, a cabinet at the venue, you can turn up with this, uh, you know, just on its own, or on a pedal board, and just plug straight into their cab, and off you go. Because this has got the power amp built in as well, which is very good. Um, also, it functions as uh, just a, a straightforward preamp, so if you wanna record with it, you just, uh, you can forget about the power amp side, you can just come out of the DI and go straight into uh, whatever you're recording into. And uh, that gives you all your sort of tonal shaping, your Ashdown sound uh, right there. Um, so yeah, a pretty cool box. Um, also, I mean, who's not gonna love this? Look at this baby. This is a Fender Player Series, so this is made in Mexico, uh, jazz bass in Capri Orange. Isn't that lovely? It's just, a, just the, the coolest colour. Had to use it on this because it's so nice. Uh, Norman is a, famously a jazz bass player as well, so kind of made sense. Right, so let's have a little look at this box in a bit more detail. If we start up this end, obviously mains in, this is regular mains. The great thing about this is, and you're seeing it on a lot of things these days, um, is that it uh, automatically senses the voltage, so you can use it really um, anywhere in the world, doesn't matter what the voltage is, you don't need a separate um, adapter or step up transformer, step down transformer. This will work out whether it's 110 volts or 230 volts. And uh, yeah, there you go. So plug it, take it anywhere you want. It works great. And we've got the speaker output. Uh, obviously, uh, as you see on a lot of things these days is a combi, or you can use a regular quarter inch jack, or you can use a speak on uh, cable. We've got a headphone output, so you can use this um, just uh, at home for practicing or in the dressing room, you know, just get your headphones on and uh, you've still got all your tonal stuff available there. Um, DI out, obviously, very important. And then instrument in, there you go, and there's your bass, goes in there. Uh, not an input gain as such, uh, we have uh, just a master out and then we have um, a passive active uh, button here, which just uh, gives you a slight sort of pad. If your bass is, is active and it's a bit hotter, uh, you can press this in and it will adjust the gain so that the bass doesn't overload, distort. Vice versa, if it's, uh, if it's passive, you leave that out and it gives you more level. We've got three band EQ, 
bass, middle and treble. We have a shape button. I'll show you what that does in a minute. And then just a mute. So after you finished your gig, press that, unplug your bass. It has a nice little light LED on there to tell you when it's muted. So when you're scratching your head going, why can't I hear anything? It's because you've got the mute button on. Yes, indeed. So what does it sound like? Well, uh, today we've got two options for you. We've got the DI uh, and we've also uh, got an Ashdown cab mic'd up down here. So we're coming straight out of here, straight into that cabinet and we've got uh, a Shaw mic on there. So you'll be able to hear both. Um, the wonderful boys in editing will show you what you're listening to at any point. So, uh, so there you go. Let's have a listen to some tones then. Let's look at this EQ first of all. Uh, the shape button. Uh, now this gives you a classically sort of contoured, like what we call a smiley face EQ. So boosts the bass, cuts the middle, boosts the treble. So flat sounds like this. Shape in. Flat. Shape. Okay, so that's going to be up to you whether you want to have that in or out. I shall leave it out for now and just use the EQ on its own. Let's see if we can recreate that with the EQ. So we'll boost the bass and treble, cut the mid. That's kind of the same sort of sound, right? So you can see what's happening there. Let's take that to the extreme. Nice musical EQ, it's not too harsh. Sometimes these things, they've got so much cut and boost on, it just tears your head off and it's not pleasant. Let's go the other way. Let's uh, take some of the treble out. Boost some mid. Okay, uh, and I guess if we have the shape in and we really accentuate the bass and treble on here and cut the mid, we're going to get a really exaggerated version of that. So this thing, like I say, it's, um, it, 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 right, it runs at 200 watts. That's if you're running it um, in uh, 4 ohm. So normally uh, your base cab will be 8 ohm. So if you're running in one cab, you get about 150 watts out of it. And then uh, you run it into two, you'll get 200 watts. And uh, there it is, the Ashdown amp. You know, I can really see that uh, being a useful tool for a lot of people. Um, it's got a little fan built in, and you can certainly hear that's on, uh, obviously for cooling the power amp side of it. Uh, yeah, they do a guitar version of this too called the Newt. Uh, so any guitar players watching, that might interest you. You want to go and check that out on the Anderton's website. And uh, this comes in at £299. So really, you know, that, that's, that's very good value for money when you look at a lot of um, uh, sort of preamps and stuff, some of the, the more boutique ones, the dark glass and stuff, they all run at that sort of money. They all run about £300. Um, but of course, with this one, uh, you get the Ashdown sound, if that's your thing, and you're also getting a 200 watt power amp built in uh, as well, which is, uh, like I say, these days, with a lot of venues and the way it's going, is a very useful thing. Even as a backup, because maybe, uh, you know, a lot of gigs, they don't even want you to use backline, they just want you to DI, where well, you can use it for that. Um, or if you get to the gig and their amp is blown up, there you go, you just go straight into the cab. So it's uh, it's all good, all good. The Ashdown Ant, folks, yes. You've seen it here first. 
Uh, what we'll do then, we'll play out, I'll play that track again, and I think what we'll do is we'll just cut between the DI and the sound of the cab, and, uh, and you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. Best of both worlds. All right, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Nathan, all about the bass. See you next time. Bye now. Thank you.